why many intelligence tests are not only nonsense, but even criminal. They are anything but harmless. Written and read by Bernard Kutzler. Some time ago, I saw a brain teaser on a social media platform. There were five numbers, a question mark and the following text. Only those who can think logically can solve this puzzle. What does the question mark stand for? This puzzle is in the title image. The person who posted this even added a tip. The solution is not 60. Although 60 is one of several solutions, as I will prove at the end in exercise 1. Follow me when I explain why such puzzles are not only nonsense, but even criminal. Many intelligence tests are of this type. They often involve a sequence of numbers, words or geometric objects that you have to continue or from which you have to remove an element. They suggest that there is only one solution. If you find it, you have passed the test. If you don't find it, you have supposedly failed it. Here is an example. Which number comes instead of the question mark? One, two, three, question mark. You will probably say four. Then I ask why? You will probably answer, the next number is obtained by adding 1 to its predecessor. 1 plus 1 gives 2, 2 plus 1 gives 3, and 3 plus 1 gives 4. Now I am satisfied with your answer. You have provided a pattern that matches the given numbers and produces 4 as the next number. But now I say, here is a different solution. Instead of the question mark comes 5. So the sequence is 1, 2, 3, 5. Here is the pattern. The next number is the sum of its two predecessors. 1 plus 2 gives 3 and 2 plus 3 gives 5. Let's look at another puzzle. Which number does not fit into this group? 1, 2, 4, 6. One correct answer is the number 1 does not fit because it is an odd number. All the others are even. Another correct answer is the number 4 does not fit because the word 4 has 4 letters whereas the words 1, 2 and 6 each have 3 letters. Another correct answer is the number 6 does not fit because it is the only number whose symbol does not contain a straight line. With such puzzles there are several contexts for patterns. And that's the crux of the matter. It therefore makes no sense to ask for the one solution to such puzzles. There are two reasons. Firstly, there can be several solutions and in most cases there are. Secondly, if you provide a solution, this does not mean that you have achieved anything. You may have made a good guess or you may have been told the answer or you may have already known the puzzle. Then you pass the test, but for no good reason. The key to these puzzles is finding a pattern. However, this does not require logic, it requires creativity. To confirm a pattern, you need logic, because thinking logically means applying rules correctly. Creativity is part of intelligence. Logic is not necessarily part of it. See my blogcasts How We Lose Our Innate Intelligence and Can Regain It and Why Everyone Is Born a Genius for more about intelligence. In the title I said that such tests are not only nonsense but even criminal. Here is why. They suggest that there is only one solution. Hence, they make many intelligent people believe they are not intelligent or not intelligent enough. It is a crime against these people. I speak from experience. In my career as a scientist, the teaching of mathematics was one of my research areas. In our schools, students shall provide the one right answer, just like in these puzzles. The following experience had a profound impact on me. 
During a teacher training course, I let the participants watch me teach their students. I introduced the students to a new topic and then asked a challenging question. I also told them how they could find the answer in form of a pattern. They started searching for the answer and after just one minute a girl exclaimed, I've got it. I asked what she had found and she gave a perfect answer. After the lesson, her teacher told me that this girl was his weakest student in math. In my math lesson, which addressed creativity rather than calculation skills, she was the best. The moral of this story is, whether a child is good or weak in a subject depends often not on the child, but on the lessons. You can turn these puzzles and tests into meaningful ones by asking for as many patterns as possible that are contained in the puzzle. However, this makes the use of such puzzles and tests extremely difficult. In particular, it makes automated scoring or even self-evaluation impossible. But most intelligence tests on the internet or in books do exactly that. They suggest that you can use them to find out how intelligent you are. This is wrong and ultimately criminal, given the above. There is also a class of puzzles that have only one solution. You will find an example at the end as exercise 3. Solving these puzzles requires logic, but only after you have chosen the appropriate solution strategy, because the strategy is the key to solving the puzzle. If you have experience in solving such puzzles, the strategy may be in your mental toolbox. If you don't have it there, you need to find it, which requires creativity. So these puzzles are primarily about experience or creativity. One of my favorite puzzles shows how infinitely creative people can be. Nine dots are arranged in a 3 by 3 square. Connect all dots with four straight lines without lifting the pen. You can't do this if you try to keep your lines within the square. For a solution with four connected lines, you must think outside the box, in the truest sense of the word. Surprisingly, there are also solutions with just one line. The first has the line go through the top three dots, then further and further around the entire planet, until it comes from the other side and runs through the middle three dots then further and further again around the planet until it finally connects the bottom three dots. The second solution with just one line is my absolute favorite for creative thinking. Take a pen or brush that is wider than the nine dots arranged in a square and go over the square once, that is all nine dots. Finally, three exercises. Exercise 1. Find as many patterns as possible that provide an answer to the puzzle in the title image. As an example, here are two solutions. The red numbers follow the rule add 20. 10 plus 20 is 30. 30 plus 20 is 50. If you apply this rule to the blue numbers, this results in either the sequence 0 plus 20 is 20, 20 plus 20 is 40, or... 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 plus 20 is 60. So a solution would be either 0 or 60, depending on your taste. Exercise 2. Find as many patterns as possible that provide an answer to the following puzzle. Which animal does not fit into this group? Dog, cat, lion, snake, zebra. Exercise 3. Which strategy can you use to solve the following puzzle? Given are three chests, A, B and C. Only one of the following three statements is true, the other two are false. Which chest contains the treasure? First statement, the treasure is not in chest A. Second statement, the treasure is in chest B. Third statement, the treasure is not in chest B.